Hi DC, this is my uh, video for October November 2014. So we're coming towards the end of the year and uh, I sort of will maybe do a video of all the stuff, best of the finds that I've had. Had some quite good finds just last couple of days actually, uh, so I will come to those last. I went to a record fair in Oxford. Uh, didn't really find too much, but I'll show those first. And uh, I haven't been to this new shop in Oxford yet, which I've seen a few people on Facebook have been uh, talking about. It's called Truck Store, I think. So I'm going to try and get over there sometime. And if anybody in DC would like to meet up, that would be great. Uh, I think I've got a coffee shop as well there or something, so so I won't get to dry in the uh, vinyl atmosphere I guess anyway so I will start with that and the good thing about the record there was I actually found a grail and after long, my last video being about the church uh, lo and behold I was only there just over an hour or so I think but uh, I had three for 15 or was it four for 15 pounds I've only got three of them here actually but after many, many years of looking for this, I actually got a copy of Sing Songs, uh, which is an EP by the church from 1982. Uh, features uh, a cover version of um, uh, I'm a Rock, Simon and Garfunkel song, uh, and a good cover it is too. Uh, a Different Man is another song. Of uh, Steve Kilby pen song which isn't available I don't think anywhere else or certainly not on a studio album we have Ancient History in the, in this room and The Nice is Very Soft and you've got the, the lyrics on the back so I've obviously heard these songs but to actually have it um, I'm really chuffed about that really yeah I've been looking for that for a long time the other couple of things that I grabbed well two of the three mainly because the seller was actually willing to play the records and he actually had a record player there. There was this sort of strange Northern Ireland sort of uh, uh, home made almost um, private press perhaps, I'm not sure, some sort of um, album here which although rather crackly was quite an interesting sort of um, purchase. I don't really know what to say about that, but you've seen the title so you can work it out for yourself or, or investigate it more. This is sort of American alt, not alt, uh, just sort of country rock I guess with a religious um, theme on some of the tracks and it's mid 70s. I listened to it, it sounds very warm, very... Uh, uh, How would I explain it? Well, just nice to listen to. So I got that as well. The only other two things I really got, which I just, I don't know, you go somewhere you don't have much time to buy much, but I got a sort of a cheesy sort of, uh, this is a uh, rapping Dutchman from the mid 80s over Madonna's holiday. Yeah. I thought for a pound, and I got a Falco, Falco, sorry, Falco is a footballer, Falco um, album, and it hasn't got Vienna Calling on it, or um, Rock Me Amadeus, I think it's all in German. Uh, no, some of it's in English, sorry. Yeah, so we'll see what that's like, I, I don't know, you know, it might just be something to send to somebody, or I, I don't know, so the next... The next place I went to, uh, a place which has dried out for me recently, um, I got some Sammy Davis Jr. albums just to try something different. So I just whizzed through these. Uh, I haven't really played them very much yet. I played one, actually the last one I'll show. That's the Wham of Sam. They're all in good, good nick. Uh, I got a right to swing. 
uh, one with Count Basie here. Our shining hour. Sammy Swings. There was more of them actually, but I just took these ones. Shelter of your arms. I don't really know whether this is sort of classed as jazz or, or, or what. I mean, it's sort of a bit like easy listening in a way, I suppose. But this was an interesting one, which is in the record price guide. It's him interpreting uh, sort of more modern songs. So it's a bit more interesting. There's um, uh, For Once in My Life, My Way, uh, In the Ghetto, uh, Spinning Wheel. Yeah, it's from 1970 on Motown. It's not bad, you know, it's not bad at all. Album. Nice cover. Yeah, sort of like a tamer version of the uh, Jimi Hendrix cover, I guess you could say. Uh, next, I was going to somewhere to pick a, um, a sofa bed up, new sofa bed, uh, and I had a van, and I went somewhere and found these. They're all a pound. It took me absolutely ages to go through stacks of records, but this is what I found. Uh, we have some Aboriginal folk inspired music with a, with a man with his accordion squeeze box there. And he, the line the notes tell you all about them. Uh, an album by John Prime. Someone else I don't really know that much about. I think, I think maybe I had a Nancy Griffith album, a cover version she did, and one of his songs, a very nice song, I forget the title now, was on there. Was it The Sound of the Speed of Loneliness? Was that his one? I can't remember. I know the Nancy Griffith album was called Other Voices, Other Rooms, I think, but anyway. This I sort of got purely because it's on pink vinyl. Some bands on here are... Oh, no, sorry, maybe that's just one band that are on here. I'm a bit unsure about that, if anybody knows that. Uh, gospel songs and spirituals. I think there's something on here that people sample. Not quite sure what, but i got that. And a Jesus Folk one, which is Salvation Army. Nice cover there. Uh, this, I think it's reggae, set the tone, not sure I haven't tried that yet. This is a Christian one, Ishmael and Andy. This is another listed record actually, I haven't played this yet, but Ishmael, his name is Andy Schmal, S-M-A-L-E, so I guess that is how he came up with that name. Uh, a guy called Kai Hansen, no idea who he is or anything about it, but unusually it came in one cover, and then it came in another cover with Gamma Ray written on it. So I don't know him at all. It could just be rock or maybe slightly indie, I'm not sure. So this album. I know little about as well. Utopia got Todd um, Run Rundgren on it, and some other guys. I've seen it. It's quite a sort of a standout cover to me. So it was a pound, like all of these ones. It's got the inner card as well with it, and lyrics in there. And the last one, well this is an All About Eve 12 inch, they're a nice band, uh, most famous for Martha's Harbour in the UK. Single here is December with a Narnia mix, and also what swayed me was it has The Witch's Promise, the uh, Jeffro Tull song on it, so I, I thought she has such a nice voice, it would be nice to hear her singing that. Yeah, really nice artwork on All About Eve stuff as well, slightly gothic -y. Um, if not sounding, then 
the uh, overall image of them is, I guess. So that brings me just finally to the last couple of um, uh, days where I found a new charity shop to go to that's just opened in my hometown. So I found a good stack here. I'll try and whiz through them, not drag on too much. First two are 78, and I haven't got anything to play 78 on. I only own one 78, so we're going to have to try and find something. This is the first one. These cost just like a few pennies. I mean, it, someone there's put fifteen pounds on it, but obviously, whoever put it out like that never made that on it. So it has a Beatles theme, but it's just a couple of nursery rhymes and a little red single Hickory Dickory Rock is the um, dock, like the clock, and London Bridge. Uh, and here is a proper old 78. A lot of them were broken in this box, actually. It must have been slightly thrown about. It's Petula Clark. Uh, gonna find me a bluebird and with all my heart. So I think this is her first single ever with an orchestra on there. Lovely label. Lovely sort of old sleeves that you get in. 78. Uh, do 7 inches. I don't know this, but I listened to it, and it was quite, quite pretty, really. But some birds singing, and some sort of slight, easy listening, instrumental track. Uh, Debbie Gibson single. I remember her, uh, and her battles with Tiffany. And a Dr. Feel Good single, which you probably know, Milk and Alcohol, and it's a brown one, yeah, brown single. So, I guess this is um, when you have a stout with some milk. Certainly in England, people, I think they used to do that. Right, onto the albums. They were, I think, about three for a pound or two for a pound or something. I think it changed from one day to the next day I went in there. I just whizzed through some of these. A Rick Wakeman, White Rock album, uh, a Monkey's album on Reader's Digest, which is sort of one of these, is one of these book clubs that um, send them out every month unless you uh, unless you remember to tell them not to send it. So they obviously get some albums. Some mid eighties. Uh, well, I have no idea who Mark Ashton is. Oh no, I do, I do, I think I looked him up. Can't remember what band he was with now, but an interesting cover. The Robert Palmer, Clues album. Uh, the Double Tina Turner, Simply the Best album. Couldn't remember if Tina Turner was, was still with us actually, but. When I googled it, it said that she died in 2012 and was married in 2013, so I'm not sure, anyway. Uh, Rubber Soul, The Beatles, this is slightly scratched, but I just played the first side and it sounds really good. I'm not up on my Beatles pressings uh, at all, to be honest with you. Uh, I, mean, I can show you the label. It's probably just like a normal sort of um, a normal sort of um, one. I would have thought it's certainly not a yellow and yellow gold black sort of one. So that's that. And what does it say in the bid box? Does that say it looks like H? It almost looks like it's stamped backwards, actually. H R M. I'm not sure, actually. And then there's a D in the. Well, anyway, I'm not sure. I guess that sort of makes me a bit of an ignoramus. I can't understand those things at all. I've heard people talk about them. I'm not that bothered about that thing, really. This. This definitely needs to be cleaned on the record machine, but this is an interesting record that I've played. This is pretty um, Hammond organ, psych, crazy 
album on a on a sort of a I always thought Windmill was like a budget label, but yeah, this is a good album. I do need to go and get it cleaned from my local um, shop because I haven't got a cleaner myself. The reissue from 80s, I think, of Exodus, which you can see up here. Uh, this, which I see all the time, but a bit of spatial stereo there. Uh, Ray McVeigh, I've got one of his albums already. This is his uh, Motown soul sort of compilation songs versions of. Ah, a signed album by a folk band from the Midlands in the UK. Signed and then with to Michael on the back. Michael spelt wrong. Like you see, that's so much with E A L. Yeah. I don't know anything about them. Uh, this is a repressing of Janice Ian's debut album. I don't know much about her. Uh, soundtrack ELO, Joyride. I don't know that. I think I know a couple of the tracks on there. Can't get you out of my head. That's on. Um, the one with the Judy Garland slipper, Ruby from, from Wizard of Oz on it. I don't know anything about this film at all. Uh, I haven't got this Kate Bush album yet, so I found a nice copy of that. Never Forever, the gatefold. Lovely artwork. There and Kate floating around on the back. Uh, three TV hits albums. Some American ones that we had over here in the UK, and some sort of quite bad English TV uh, themes on them as well. Without going into too much detail, this is a. Uh, 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 who is this? It's Brazilian, I think. It's um, Milson Nascimento, Milagre dos Pieces. Yeah, I don't know what this is or, or anything about it. It's 1974. It's a well, it's obviously a Brazilian or it's a Brazilian pressing, I think. Yeah, ladle to side. It's got complete all these sort of coloured pieces of paper in there, the record, and then a big fold out sort of cover there. So that will be interesting. I don't know anything about that. Uh, this, I've seen this. Uh, it's got a cover of Drive My Car on it. I don't know what this is exactly. Just sort of. Soul. I don't think it's quite as cool as Funkadelic or anything, but it should be interesting. Best of Blondie. That's an upgrade for me with a nicer cover. The status quo. That early stuff I don't think you can really get or find, or it would cost a lot of money to get that psychedelic one. So I just got this compilation, I guess, of their first two albums on a very cheap Hallmark label. And a Diana Ross album from the Supreme, sorry, Greatest Six Volume Two. And lastly, I felt very rebellious getting this. I couldn't decide, and then I thought, that's strange, John Lennon. I feel quite rebellious having one of his albums now. Yeah. So I appear already to be at nearly 20 minutes, so I'm going to cut off quick. So that's quite a lot there for you to watch. Uh, for those of you that have stuck with it, Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel. Hello to lots of people in DC. Um, I'd love to do some shout outs, but there's so many of you. Uh, and I hope you're all well and healthy, and I will catch up with you soon. Thanks. See you soon. Bye.